I'm Christy Sampson, and I'm sitting up in the hills above my town, feeling inspired in the beauty of nature. Today's question is, how do you get prepared for your first rehearsal? And this is something that hits me because my first rehearsal is next week, uh, the week before school starts. Now, mine is the week before school starts for a simple reason. I like to count backwards from my performance to make sure I have the right amount of time, okay? So because of my performance date, I knew I was gonna need an extra week, so I'm starting a week early. It's really important to plan like this so you don't get caught at the end, um, you know, stressed without enough time. If you plan it ahead of time, it makes things so much easier. So that is my first tip for you, getting ready for the new school year. Count backwards, find your date, um, say, okay, I'm gonna need this many rehearsals. I'm gonna need three dress rehearsals. I'm gonna wanna have a tech rehearsal the week before. Um, my drama kids are gonna need four weeks of rehearsal before they get on stage, so that means I should have my drama auditions this date. Just count backwards and um, give yourself enough time. Uh, I think too often, at least I used to do this, I would kind of start out slowly and take too long at the beginning doing things that really didn't need to take that long. And then when the urgency comes in, you think, oh my gosh, we've got to get working. So start working quickly at the beginning, then things can slow down and you can have a lot of fun towards the end. So, okay, what else do I need to do? My rehearsal is next week. Ah, um, I want to have a meeting of my team, my staff. For me, this means my uh, student volunteers. I have a bunch of new student volunteers because uh, they just all graduated from my program. So I have a bunch of new ninth graders that used to be in my program as eighth graders. And how can I get them plugged in? So they are going to be choreographers. They are going to be helping uh, greet the students on the first day. They're going to be helping in any way that fits their abilities, plugging them in. For you, it might be your adult volunteers. Have a meeting, have some food. Food always gets me there. Maybe it's just me, but it's probably some other people too, uh, where you can talk about the next uh, season and get them excited and cast the vision so you're all on the same page. Have a meeting so that at your first rehearsal, everybody's excited. And of course, advertise. I love it when I see churches that have a cool um, DVD that they play in church, something that shows how much fun things are and lets kids know you can always start. Today's the day you can join. It's not some club that you can't get into. Uh, there's always a new beginning. Also for volunteers, we always need new volunteers. Uh, so media is a great way to do that. Lots of announcements, lots of excitement. Get the buzz going with your kids, with your volunteers. And uh, let's all get that season started.